What's going on everybody? It's Brian and I'm back with a new video and today I'm sharing with you guys my March favorites. So I have some clothing items, I have some accessories, I have some skincare products, some vitamins, just a bunch of different things that got me through the month of March. And I'm also leaving links to every single product that I mentioned in the description box as well. So definitely check that out. Let's go ahead and hop into the video. So unless you've been living under a rock, then you know Dreamville Festival just passed. Dreamville Festival and Crocs did this collaboration where they released Dreamville Crocs, Dreamville Croc Slides, and also the Dreamville Croc Gibbets. So I shared it on Twitter. I was like, yo, I gotta get my hands on these. Y'all, like, look at this. It's so dope. When I tell y'all I've been super obsessed with these, I was in the market for some new Crocs. I was like, yo, I'm gonna get the black and white marble ones. I'm gonna put my um, Dreamville Festival gibbets on it. So the Dreamville gibbets come in a set of 13. Y'all, these are so dope. I've never seen a gibbet made like this. Like, it's literally made out of the Chanel material that Letterman jackets usually are made out of. I just thought that was a super nice touch. Just, like, feels very high and high quality. I've worn them so much since. I got them. So y'all, I've been obsessed with like monochrome and matching sets since this past fall. Matching sets especially, I feel like you cannot go wrong. Literally throw it on, throw some shoes on, out the door. And especially Nike sweatsuits feel so comfortable, like a hug the entire day. Uh, I got my first one at the end of November. So I got an all black one, I have a yellow one. And then I recently just got this oxen blood color one. Boy, I'm in love with this thing. I'm embarrassed to say how many times I wore it during the month of March. I literally love the way it looks on my skin. And what really got me to buy it is the fact that I got on the website and I was looking through the colors that I wanted. The model that was wearing this was close to my skin tone. He was a bigger guy and he looked like me. And so yeah, I was sold because I could actually see myself in it. I love this color so much. I wore it maybe like 13 of the 30 days. Washed of course, but judge me not. <laughs> So I'm gonna lump my next two favorites in one category because I got them from the same website. I'm actually wearing one now, but it's these caps that I got from Culture Kings. If you're not familiar with the Culture Kings site, you need to check it out. They have a lot of like super trendy, dope, like streetwear items on their website, but I love their caps the most. Just because like a lot of the caps that are on their website, I've never seen in store before. Not to say that they don't sell them other places. I've just never seen them. If you know me, you know I love I love caps, I love hats, I love styling them. So I got this Atlanta Braves cap and I love the color of it. I don't know if I said this before, but at the beginning of the year, I got rid of so many clothes and I decided that I wanted every single item in my closet to be a neutral color. So when I saw this cap on their website, an Atlanta Braves cap in tan, I was like, yeah, I definitely gotta get it. And I love this cap so much because of the patches that it has on it. And then I also got this black LA cap, and this is actually a leather cap. And I'm actually sad that I have to retire this soon because I wore it on Saturday and it was 60 degrees out, but I got so hot under this cap. So we're moving into the summer months and I'm just gonna have to put this up because it's a little warm. I didn't see a leather one in the men's cap. So this is actually a women's cap, but literally when you put it on, you can't really tell. The biggest difference between men's caps and women's caps is women's caps are a little bit lower profile. They typically are shaped a little bit different in this area. You can't tell, you know how I feel about that, especially like caps, like, bro. They have no gender. But yeah, I got these from Culture Kings and they're literally becoming like one of my favorite places to shop online. So moving on along, my next March favorite is actually this exfoliating cloth I picked up from Target. This is by the brand Earth Therapeutics. I love this cloth so much. Now, exfoliating cloths may or may not be your thing. My skin has never felt so soft and smooth. The areas of your body are typically a little bit rougher, like your inner thighs for me, because I'm a bigger guy, my thighs rub, my elbows, knees. Using this exfoliating cloth in those areas, like very gently helps to remove a lot of that dead and dry skin. And my body is soft from head to toe. But the brand I typically use, I got from Walmart and I went in a couple of weeks ago and they were out of stock. So I went to Target and I found these. When I got home and used it, I was pleasantly surprised because this one's actually a longer cloth. So it's designed for you to be able to exfoliate and clean areas of your body that you typically can't easily reach, like your back. And when you're done, you can also always fold it back to your standard washcloth size and then use it to finish cleaning the rest of your body so absolutely will recommend this I love it so much again I'm never switching back <laughs> so my next favorite for the month of March is actually 
this little guy right here. So for the past few years, or several years actually, I've been struggling with ingrown hair in my neck area. Currently, I'm working to fade those marks as well as prevent future ingrown hair. I was in Ulta a few weeks ago. When I went to check out, me and the lady were talking about the Bevel Shaving products. She had asked, do you struggle with ingrown hair? And I was like, yes, I do. She actually recommended this fur oil. And y'all, I've been using it. And like, when I tell you the, the ingrown hair issue has been non-existent. So I've been using it. It contains like grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, tea tree oil, just oils specifically to help soften the skin, soften the hair in that area and prevent the ingrown hair. And this is actually made and marketed for your pubic region, but it says that you can also use it for like your skin and face. And I was like, um, you sure it's okay to use on my neck? And she was like, absolutely. Like definitely use it. I just want to thank her because this has been great. So the next product I want to mention is actually this moisturizer. This is by the company Belief and it's called their True Cream Aqua Balm. Y'all, I started actually using this in December. My friend Stephanie put me on. Last month I realized that like, yo, I haven't been struggling with dry skin like I, I typically do in certain areas. Like I haven't been having to like use any oil or serums in the areas like right here where I get dry patches on my skin. And I attribute that to using this product. And so like, once I actually realized that like, I've been in love with this scent. The thing I love about it is how it makes my skin feel after I put it on. Like the very first time I used it, it just made my skin feel so like soft, smooth, luxurious. And it also made my skin feel cushiony, plush. Like I can't explain it. It just, just felt really plump and hydrated. It didn't feel heavy or it's like super oily like a lot of moisturizers are. And it really gives my skin a really good glow without it feeling oily. I just feel like super rich after I put this on. <laughs> like, And so if you're looking for a nice, lightweight, but very hydrating moisturizer, I would definitely suggest checking out the Belief Aqua Bomb. Next thing I want to mention are vitamins. Recently, I picked up these hair, skin, and nail gummies. And the reason why I wanted to mention them pretty much is simply because they taste good. Like all of my vitamins right now are gummy, so don't judge me, but it feels like a guilt-free snack time. <laughs> But yeah, it has been helpful. I've noticed that it's helping my hair grow a lot faster. Um, the reason why I wanted to get hair, skin, and nail vitamins is because I want my beard to grow in a little bit fuller. I have like a couple of patches. I guess dealing with like stress, like my, my beard has been shedding a lot. And so I'm trying to get my beard to grow back in a little bit thicker as well as I'm having to shave a lot more. It's definitely helping and I'm starting to feel a, a difference in my skin quality as well. So if you're looking for a good hair, skin, and nail vitamin, I definitely would recommend these by Nature's Bounty. While we're on the topic of my gummy vitamins, I also want to talk about the Goli Ashwagandha. I started taking these actually back in February. Since last summer, I started to notice that I was having a lack of focus, unable to concentrate or think straight. Come to find out, I'm suffering from a little bit of anxiety. And then after my mom passed uh, back in November, I was dealing with some depression as well and so my sister recommended that I start taking ashwagandha especially to be able to relax and just chill <laughs> because it's been it's definitely been a lot going on I noticed within a week that I was able to just kind of relax I felt a lot less anxious a, a lot less depressed and Target just ended up walking past these picked them up and I started taking them and I'm glad I grab them. And the last thing that I want to mention, which I'm pretty sure is probably a little basic, these Essentia bottles of water have been my go-to during the month of March. My goal was to start drinking more water. My doctor recommended that I drink three liters a day, which is around like 120 some ounces. That was a struggle initially just because the water bottle that I have is like 32 ounces and I have a Brita pitcher in my refrigerator and this may seem like a very trivial complaint but sometimes my Brita filter fills my water bottle up so slow and I'm just like bro. So I was in Target a couple of weeks ago and I walked past these on the shelf and I was like hmm this alkaline water has a good 9.5 pH or higher for five electrolytes added. So I was like this is a big bottle too how many ounces is this and I saw that it was 50.7 ounces so I was like let me grab seven of these and then I was like after I drink this by lunchtime that's 50 ounces of water that I've consumed for today meaning I only have 
have to really fill up my water bottle like twice that day. I've been drinking them faithfully ever since. It's been really helpful to help me reach um, my water intake goals. I have these boys to thank for that. So yeah, those are all of my favorite items from the month of March. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are able to take a little inspiration from it. Maybe check out some of these products yourself. Again, I will leave links to everything down in the description box below. Also, if you check out the description box, there's a link to my March favorites playlist. All the songs that have been getting me through the month of March that I listen to that, maybe be introduced to some new music. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Scroll on down the page a little bit more, find a subscribe button, click subscribe. While you're at it, there is a bell icon right beside that subscribe button. Click that, that way you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Again, my name is Brian. I make style and lifestyle content for bigger guys. Check out the description box again. Find links to all of my social medias. That way you can follow me every single place that I am. Until next time, I'm out.